guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm so excited for today's video because I was looking through my craft boxes and I found these things that I got a while ago, like a month ago or so. Actually, probably more than that, but they've been really trendy like in the past six months or so. Actually, I don't know. But it's some candles. I will try and find some inspiration pictures and put them here on the screen um, over here. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. So that is why that that is why we're in the kitchen, but we're not cooking. So we are using the stove to make some candles. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the supplies I have. So, I have the bubble candle mold here. Super cool. I actually, it's so interesting how they made it. Because they made it so that the little bubbles can't like pop in like that. So anyways, I thought it was kind of cool. And then, we have the shell mold. Um, which I'm really excited to try this out. It's pretty interesting, so we'll see how that goes. We have some wicks here and like a whole little kit of how to use them. Well, we're not going to use like half of the kit, but yeah. And then we have some soy wax here that hopefully... Well, I just have like a lot of it. I did make some candles like with it before. Then I have some blue wax and then I have red to hopefully make pink or something. Now, interesting story. This is like the stuff from like Gouda, like at the bottom which is actually like wax. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna experiment because I don't really wanna get a whole set of dye. And then this blue candle wax is like, it was this old candle and the top was all like nasty. I cut it off and I got some blue coloring from it. So, cause like, for, to me, like, food coloring works, but it kind of makes things messy. Well, we'll see how this works, but that's what I have. Okay, so I have some water boiling on the stove because we're going to use the double boiler method. I have a glass container, well, glass measuring cup, I guess. And I think the first one I'm going to do is the bubble candle. So... When working with candle, I mean, what am I saying? So candle wax melts down. So it's about, actually I have no idea. I think it's like double the amount of the candle that you're going to do or something. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to work with it and put some more in here. Um, so yeah, I kind of don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> I think this should be enough or more than enough. So, basically, we're going to put the wick into the candle. So, I originally saw this bubble candle DIY on Lone Fox. So, they don't have a wick hole there. So, you're just going to poke a hole with a sewing needle or something. And, oh, you can't even see it. That's weird. Um, anyways, we're going to try this. Let me just say, this is way harder than it looks. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Had to use a <laughs> kebab skewer. So, basically, he just, like, cut it. Well... I'm just gonna cut it there. So you actually don't need the, the bottom part. But I do have a 
say, oh, perfect. I can like prop it up in this jar. Um, cause I think I'm doing pink first, but they also gave me some little like popsicles thick things. We'll see how these work, but it's like to hold it in place, like the wick. And I think this is good. So I'm going to go over there and bring you with me. Okay going to place Okay. Just get my glove out in case and start to stir it, I guess, until it melts. I think I put too much water. Also, you can totally use like a spoon. Um, but yeah. Okay, so it's starting to melt, and this is also called the double boiler method, I'm pretty sure, so, okay, good, it's starting to melt, I'm going to put a few flakes of the red, also it's like making that noise, I think I should have gone with a larger pot, okay, hopefully that's enough not too much and hopefully it, it melts so yeah I'm just gonna keep going I just added a few more red flakes I'm not sure if it's working okay actually the color is working look at that color So I'm not supposed to put my candle in the fridge, so I'm not, but I'm going to work on my other one. So basically, this one is, I'm going to make, see, I'm trying to think, should I make this one blue or what, because... I have some leftover pink wax. Oh, let me wash this out. So I just washed this real quick. Now, I don't exactly know. You know what? I'm just going to estimate how much wax I will need. Also, I will link this wax down below. I actually got it. I want to say a few years ago when I made candles the first time. Um, I think maybe that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. So now setting up our mold, I'm going to take a wick here. And the cool thing about this is they are stuck together. Now... I think my wick is a little bit smaller, so I will have to put like a um, a cup or something underneath it so it doesn't like all spill. Um, but basically, I'm gonna take these rubber bands and just because this is a hard mold. So I'm just going to rubber band the places that are, or at least what I think, where they're supposed to be rubber banded because of the design. So I think I'm doing it right. Okay, I have it set up. I'm going to bring my blue wax over there and start doing it. Nice, look how awesome my candle looks. So I did, we had a mini crisis where the hose that we never use has tons of holes in it and uh, water spilled everywhere and we had to put buckets. Anyways, I saved a lot of 
the water though so not wasting water but my pot is taking forever to boil now because a washed pot never boils um but anyways i'm getting ready to do the blue one and it will be exactly the same steps as the pink bubble candle which looks really good guys okay so i'm gonna leave this to boil it's turning kind of greenish i don't know if you can tell no not really i can't tell what that is maybe it's the yellow box Add that in and continue. Okay, it's kind of green. I'm not entirely sure, but why? But we're gonna go with it. I don't know if you can see that, but basically I just placed wax with like a Q-tip all around it right there so that hopefully it will stay. You know what, today is just not going as planned, but we'll talk more about that later. But I want to reveal my bubble candle because I just, yeah, I want to. I really think it turned out pretty good, so, oh, this is so satisfying, oh my god, uh oh, hold on, it's hard, you need like three hands, okay, I'm making progress. The color literally turned out exactly how I would want it to. And I'm really excited about that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at it. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, stop. Oh no, my mold wasn't clean. Now it has stuff on it. Look though, oh my god, this turned out literally perfect. I'm gonna trim both of my wicks down on this side. I'm just gonna make it like. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, I wanna like, okay, so it's the next day. Now, I did the blue candle, finally. This is how it looks. The other side looks worse. This is what the other side looks like. This is because of the coloring wasn't the exact same and the bottom is like cracked or whatever. Now, I did try both of these candles again. Bubble candle was a success. Again, I did these in just white. Um, bubble candle worked out. And then the shell candle. The white definitely looks a lot better. I'm not sure Maybe it's because of the different coloring and it just looks like dirty here. I don't know, but this is how the white turned out. Again, the back has a bit of like cracking and stuff. It's really hard to open the mold and I think that might be why, but I did try it twice. So the other thing is wax leaks here so maybe it's just my mold but i don't know the shell candle overall i feel like if they made a silicone version i don't know how they would do that 
but I think it would work because this silicone bubble candle worked literally so well. And if they have you poke a hole like the bubble candle, I think it will be so much easier. But that's my opinion. Now, overall, is it worth it? So the bubble candle, 10 out of 10, I recommend you try this if you want it, if you want to. Um, it's super easy and it's relaxing and enjoyable. Um, what else was I going to say? I think the bubble candle is worth it if you want a, a bubble candle by the mold. You know, it's really easy. Now, the shell candles. Um, I don't think it's worth all the effort that it took because between the, for, for the wick hole doing, being too big was such a big problem. It was like leaking. It was really bad and it actually took like several, well, it took several tries to get the wax to sit at the bottom without spilling out. So it was very difficult. It's cute though, but I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I would just buy this because I don't know. <laughs> it Maybe you guys will have a different experience. They have different sizes. Also, I just got these molds on Amazon. I'll link them down below. But that is where the shell one was made. Um, I mean the mold. So, anyways, I will definitely like use these candles as decor. Probably not burn them. Also, for the pink bubble candle right here, I think the coloring turned out great. Now, I will research really fast um, if you can burn the cheese wax that I used because it dyes perfectly, but you're not supposed to use crayons for dyeing, but since we're not really gonna light these, and if I do wanna light one of these, I'll light this one. Also, this is just the wax by itself, but anyways, let me look that up right now. Okay, so you're not supposed to use it because it might upset the burn of the candle or it will not burn well. But since I'm not burning these, I think it works out. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this candle making video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. So you probably shouldn't use cheese wax to dye your candles if you plan on burning them because you're not supposed to. But anyways, I did dye it that. Um, it's okay though because they're really cute. <laughs> and then you can always use um, other candles though to dye, like this one. I'm pretty sure, like it smells a bit like the other candle, but I just used a little bit of that in the um, blue shell, and then the rest were right. Actually, this one looks really shiny, and I actually, it's really cool. Anyways, it was very hard to make. But the bulb candles, again, 10 out of 10. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.